Neptune's Triumph for the Return of Albion was a Jacobean-era mask, written by Ben Jonson, and designed by Inigo Jones. The mask is notable for the contradictory historical evidence connected with it and the confusion it caused among generations of scholars and critics. Topic. Context The mask was intended as the major entertainment of the 1623–24 Christmas holiday season, and was scheduled to be performed on Twelfth Night, 6 January 1624. During the Jacobean era, however, attendance at the performances of the Stuart Court masks was coveted and controversial especially among the foreign diplomats of the court, who competed fiercely among themselves for admittance to the masks and especially for seating near the king. In the case of Neptune's triumph, the dispute between the French and Spanish ambassadors was so intense that James I cancelled the performance. There was more than ego or vague national pride involved. James's son and heir, the future Charles I, had returned from Spain and his fruitless quest for a marriage with the Spanish Infanta, the Spanish match, that was a point of intense controversy in Britain at the time. His arrival back in England on 5 October 1623 is the return of Albion of the title. James himself had censored and approved the text of the mask, but since he had been the prime backer of the Spanish match, a mask that took a benign view of its failure was perhaps easy for the king to cancel. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Contents. The mask opens with a long conversation between a poet and a cook, who represent Johnson and Jones respectively. The cook and his cookery are Johnson's satire on Jones's artistry in mask design. After the anti-mask, Jones's set of the floating island of Delos was meant to be revealed, with Apollo and Mercury presenting the serious portion of the work, supported by the minor Greek sea gods Proteus, Petunus, and Saron. Songs and dances would have ensued, and an anti-mask of sailors. It is possible that Johnson's unperformed mask may have influenced the most famous literary work connected with the Spanish match affair, Middleton's A Game at Chess. When Johnson's text was published, in quarto in 1624 and in the second folio collection of Johnson's works in 1641, the wording of the title pages gave the impression that the mask had in fact been performed. Generations of scholars took these statements at face value, and believed that the mask had been staged. The fact that none of his contemporaries had actually seen the mask allowed Johnson to reuse material from the text in subsequent works. Some lyrical passages from Neptune's Triumph reappeared in the next year's mask The Fortunate Isles and The Union, while comedy material from the anti-mask that satirizes Inigo Jones is employed in The Staple of News 1626 equals equals notes